To make dots on the backgrounds, use the wrong end of a paintbrush or one of these tools. These are an embossing tool or quite often you will see them sold for rock painting and they call them dotters or rock painting dotters. So you can use either one of those and you'll just dip the tool into the paint and you'll place a dot. You have to dip every single time to get the same size dots to try to make your dots uniform. So in this case, I'll place one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. And then I will turn it and I will do the same thing. Middle, the corner, middle, and then the corner. And I will keep doing that throughout this to get my dots uniform. So middle, and then I'll do one in each of the middles. You can see I made a mistake there. I put that dot up a little too high. You could go back with a baby wipe and wipe that up if you wanted to and then re-dot it. I'm going to leave it. Using this method of dotting is also great for filling in the eyes and the nose or the mouth on snowmen and whatever else um, that you're painting that has eyes. So same concept, you'll dip the end of the dotter into the paint or the end of the paintbrush and you'll just lay down a dot right in the middle. You can see your score lines through your base coat of paint so don't worry about covering those up. Sometimes you may have to do a second dot if the scored um, circle is a little bit bigger than what your dotting tool is giving out. So that's how you add dots and faces.